listening to KRTC radio? We were. But the radio station's in here, right? Uh -huh. Wait. Wait a minute. Can't go in there. She's on the air. Oh, that's She's right. Bunk feet with Martha. Yeah. The crappy queen. I almost blew a vein the first time I heard of that. How long has she been working that routine? A long time. Oh, it's not a routine. Well, then that's one talented lady. I don't think we've met. I'm Carl. This is my wife, Nina. Saw Carducci. This must be my new landlord. Why is it me? Yeah, I just bought the radio station. I'm the new owner of KRCC Radio. In the middle of nowhere. <laughs> it's like a Norman Rockwell painting in here. <laughs> we like it. So, you from out of town? That's right. From where? From New York. You came all the way from New York to buy KRTC Radio? I got another project I'm working on, too. Did you hear that Sven just caught a huge crappy? Yeah, 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 we heard. Did you hear what Sven had to say about crappy talk? Crappy talk, that's with Lars. Lars Knudsen. Oh, yeah, you know, I, I missed that one. You and everybody else in the middle of nowhere, what a joke. Uh, oh, hey. Hey, I'm serious. Not one single person was listening to crap talk. Not one. Only, uh, I don't, I don't think, uh... You don't think what? Well, I know you like Lars, but... Well, I, I do like Lars, but I gotta tell you, his show fights. Only, I'd like you to meet Sal Carducci. Nice to meet you. Mr. Carducci just bought the radio station. Oh, um, jeez. So what do you do, Ollie? Well, I own a, a bait shop off of Route 66. Of course. Bud's bait shop. One of our biggest advertisers. You mean what? Carl! <laughs> well, you're going to find out sooner or later. Is that you, Ollie? Or are you pulling me out of time? Well, you know, my, my bait sales have been way down. I can't sell an ice auger. And, oh, uh, oh, jeez. Look at the time. I gotta go. Ollie doesn't do well under pressure. He's had a pretty easy life. That's okay. We'll get him back. Can we get you a cup of coffee or something? How about a latte? Special lattes. That's right. I can't keep enough of them lattes on the shelf. How about a cup of coffee and a glass of warm milk? That's okay. I don't need anything. So, uh, who got this fish? Well, Lars did. He can catch fish like you wouldn't believe. Real stand up guy, that Lars. And only didn't mean a third of the stuff he said about it. Hey, Lena. Carl, guess what I heard? The Godfather just bought KRTC. Huh? Here we go. Here we go. I guess he made Harold an offer he couldn't refuse. Harold, sell me the radio station. Lars. See that go, Lars. Lars? This is Godfather. Oh, no. Uh, nice to meet you, Lars. <laughs> they say that I have that effect on people. You have to excuse Lars. He, he got hit in the head in the fifth grade by a golf ball. Yeah, he's only working on one ball. No bait in the hook. Doesn't matter how you say it. I really, I really haven't done myself lately, but forget about it. It isn't every day that you lose a big account like Bud's bait shop. You know about that. It wasn't my fault. Yeah. I'll get another advertising, Mr. Bud. In fact, I was talking to Carl today about advertising on my show. We already advertised on Bud Beat with Martha. If you never have enough advertising. Lars, I'm not going to pass judgment on anybody just yet. First thing I'm going to do is listen to the programs, see what's profitable and what's not, and make some decisions. What kind of decisions? Uh, like which shows to keep and which ones to drop. And the decision is going to be based on? Money. Money, Lars. Advertising dollars. Only the strong survive in this business. Those that bring in the money, they stay. Those 
those that don't, cement galoshes. <laughs> I won't let you down, Mr. Kaduski. I'm Lars Kaduski. It's good to know who you are, Lars Kaduski. I'll be back a little later to introduce myself to Martha. Cement galoshes. That cracked me up. That's just fine.